Hi everyone, and welcome to the Trojan Label T3 OPX Tech Support Tutorial on Ink Installation and Priming. In this video, we'll show you how to install the ink cartridges into your T3 OPX for the first time and prepare the unit for printing. For safety, keep ink cartridges out of reach of children and use protective gloves when handling ink cartridges. If the ink is accidentally ingested, contact a physician or local poison control immediately. Ink safety data sheets can be found on astronovaproductid.com. Installing the ink cartridges. Remove the two orange shipping inserts. Reinstall the left side panel by bringing it down and turning the four thumb screws clockwise. Open the ink tank door on the back of the print module. Remove the orange plastic protector. Slide in each ink cartridge nozzle end first and label side up into the corresponding color slot. You'll feel slight resistance once the cartridge is fully inserted into the secure place. Repeat this for each ink cartridge, then close the ink tank door. You can now confirm that the ink cartridges are recognized by the T3 OPX by viewing the status on the Trojan Control touchscreen. Note that upon initial installation, the ink level indicators will be blank. This is normal for a brand new print unit being initialized for the first time. Priming the print unit. Once the ink cartridges have been installed for the first time, the print unit will need to be primed to fill the ink delivery system and printhead. During priming, shipping fluid and some ink will be dispensed through the printhead and into a spittoon supplied with the print unit. The entire process will take about 20 minutes. To ensure successful priming, always use the unused 100% full cartridges, like those shipped with the print unit. In preparation for priming, ensure that the following prerequisites have been met. All four ink cartridges have been installed. The spittoon and absorbent material is near the print unit. If you're using one of the Trojan Label mail tables, ensure that the print height controls have been initialized and the table position has been calibrated. To begin the purge process, Open the service menu on the Trojan Control interface. Open the service menu by going to the T3 OPX tab and pressing on the touch screen on these three points in sequential order from left to right. One, two, three. The password is 321 and then hit OK. Press on Start Purge on Next Power On. Press OK to begin. The Trojan Control will ask you to power off the printer when you're ready. The Start Purge button will automatically set the print height to 31 to provide space to purge into the spittoon. Go to the Overview tab and then click on Shutdown. Then click OK. After the unit powers down from the main screen, you'll need to use the physical switch on the back of the T3 OPX. Cycle the power off and then back on at the main power switch of the print unit. Place the spittoon with absorbent material under the print head and confirm that the priming process has begun by observing fluid being dispensed from the print head and absorbed by the spittoon. The prime will fill the unit with printing ink and purge approximately 300 to 350 milliliters of shipping fluid. The entire process will take about 20 minutes. If you look at the lower right hand corner, you'll notice that the ink is being purged from the ink cartridges. Here is a fully saturated spittoon. And this is a screenshot of a completed purge process. And that's it. Now you know how to install ink on the T3 OPX and prime the unit for use. For additional tech support tutorials, please visit our online playlist. If you have any questions, please contact Tech Support or visit us online at astronovaproductid.com.